Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. And yes, I am back in the old lab right now. Uh, this is actually going to be the starter of our update today. Uh, it's actually quite the episode we have today, but uh, a couple of things that have changed with this update. We are now in version 0 0.8.3. Uh, one of the things is uh, Rex and lootable, lootables now spawn at the main crash site, which is actually in that foundation right now, so not even if it was there, it would it be. What is that? Oh, that's my uh, anti-gravity box. Uh, the next one. Oh, this one. This is something uh, that's quite interesting, too. And we'll head over here because I don't think these are powered right now because I didn't hook any switchboards up in this area. But we'll we'll head back here and I have to also be mindful that I am still in, that I'm in survival now. So I am not invincible and I do have a limited amount of jetpack fuel. I still don't know how one of these things made it all the way out here. That's just too funny. But uh, one of the first things on the list is, is, oh, I got, because I haven't actually switched any of this over to the new power yet, so we'll go, uh, which one is that hooked up to? Okay, go hook up to one of these. This is actually something I wasn't expecting, but we can now select the resources that we want to, to mine, or at least we can. I guess we have to, oh, there we go. Oh, send resources to connect the containers. That is interesting, but there was supposed to be a way. Oh, there's a config menu. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, I guess we have to build a new one. Uh, I guess we can go ahead and take one of these out. But supposedly you're supposed to be able to... Uh, let me just uh, fill up my inventory with everything that was in that miner. <laughs> I love it when you do that stuff. Alright, so let's we'll go ahead and disconnect this one here. We'll use this one, and where is my miner? That's the wrong button. Uh, miner, miner, miner. You can, tell I've, you can tell I've used this thing recently. Alright, there we go. So we drop a, drop a one down, and it might be new containers that do this now. But supposedly you're supposed to be able to actually select the resources that you use, that you want to mine, so you don't clutter up the system with like xanite or endless amount of carbon it's, it's supposed to be a filterable resource but I guess maybe let me check on this okay well it turns out one of the regulars on the forums actually figured this out so it's you just click the ones that you don't want you just uh as you click them, they gray out. So if you gray it out, then it will not mine those particular things. So if you only want titanium, then you can gray everything else out, and it'll just give you titanium. At the same time, dirt you can't actually do. No further use. Yeah. All right. So now off to the next one. we got to run over the tank here because it's the only time I've actually used this thing. And that was uh, being able to sort and filter things in the terminal. And it's going to take me a second, so hang on. Okay, I'm here. I had to disconnect a few things, reconnect a few things, because nothing's on switchboards in this world. But we go on here, and you are supposed to have power. Oh, no. Helps if I turn you on. So we open you up, and then we can sort. We can sort by uh, winches. We can sort by suspension. We can sort by wheels, which is going to be really good for possible future projects I may work on. Uh, the next thing that they did is they uh, made key bindings for the radio menu. So as you can see, top, top right, bottom right, bottom left, bot and so on and so forth. And that's just for, uh, let me get one of these up. That's just for this. So that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, which I think is actually easier just using this. But that is my opinion. And I think with that, back to the new lab. And here we are back at the new lab. As you can see, I've been busy. We've got uh, some 100th episode specials things going on here. And uh, one of the things before we go to this thing over here is they also fixed a lot of keyboard issues people have been having. But one of the great things about everything, and let's see if I can get my spot here. Yes, I did rewire this play for episode counter. But now you can... S what, is the build vision not actually reaching now? I guess I've got to be a little closer now to get the e-prompt. Because you're supposed to be able to... Yeah, you're supposed to get the... Be able to turn the switchboards on with E. Let's try here, yeah. 
but unfortunately, you have to be closer than the build vision. But anyways, uh, so a little blinding. I know these lights are a little much. I might talk to the devs when I get a chance to see if we can color these things. But with that being said, we are now on to episode one. Uh, actually, let's turn the other one off first. Oh, that's the wrong one. One, zero, zero. There we are, episode 100. So we had a few sub submissions. Um, we'll get to that bad girl in a moment here. Um, let's actually do this one first. I didn't get too many requests, so I decided to fill my own request in. And yes, it is a clown cannon. I got myself, uh, basically it's a sideways elevator. I'm going to try to make it as compact as I could. I still got to free it up. Let's go take it for a shot. Uh, I got to still unmount this thing. I didn't want to leave it in that, in a free state, just in case it clips to the barrel. So let's go in here and have some fun. And I'm actually going to do a save because I want to do first person flight and a third person flight. So right block, yes. And there we go. So let us head out. I'm going to do a quick backup save here, and then we'll take it for a couple of test flights. Save complete. All right. So now I made my left a little hole here for me to get in. It's a little wick. Too bad we can't actually retract the car. But when we hop in, it should drop back because of the hover. At least I thought it would. It does sort of work. I was going to try to put some roller bearings in here, but that didn't work out too well. So let's see what happens. Nothing. I got stuck. Yeah. The problem with me adding roller bearings is, is uh, it would have been a lot, a lot bigger. I want to see if I can stick a, box, a block on the back here without killing myself. Well, I can't technically kill myself because I'm in creative. Come on, where are you? Where are you? Uh, these, the hitbox on these hover pads. Uh, sometimes a little much. That way I can just get a little bit of weight in the back. That didn't work too well. Alright, back her up. Get one more block on there and I think we should be good. Now the problem is, is where do I get that block actually? Let's move it forward a little bit. I'm surprised the hover on this isn't actually working. Yeah, doo -doo -doo. I guess I may be a bad scientist, but I don't always have things working all the time. But hey, that's the fun of it. Trial and error and watching things go wrong, right? Alright, let's stick another block on there and see what that does. And that's just getting better, better weight. Yeah, this would have done a lot better with the with uh, with the wheel bearings, and I think the reason why it's not hovering is because it's just too heavy for two hover pads to lift. And I think that's my problem. Yeah, it should be automatically hovered. You can't adjust the hover height anymore, so not much we can do. But let's see if we can at least get it out the barrel. Do want the third person on this one? And just lobs to the ground. Ah, we tried. We tried. Anyways, let's go on to the next one. Uh, I actually forgot the, who requested this, so give me a second. Okay, so this one goes to Kurashal. Uh, they ask, uh, they suggest that everybody do the spider, try to make it a jumping spider, but unfortunately a jumping spider is going to be a little tricky, especially with the mechanics that are involved and more like the size of the thing when I rebuild it. So I decided to just try to make a jumper here. As you can see, I've got posts on suspensions and I'm using the hover blades or the hover pads working like the cannon. So I can uh, tighten up the suspension and I can release it or push it down even. So I want to see if this is actually going to work. So let's free the beast. Ooh, bounces. I got the suspensions all tightened up already. Uh, uh, they the batteries are actually doing what they're supposed to be doing now. Apparently, all you have to do is just quickly hook up to a, a power supply in some cases and disconnect it, and they'll, they'll just charge automatically when they're empty. So let's see what happens here. Besides the the obscene wobbling, yeah, this ain't gonna work. <laughs> it was worth a shot. 
Maybe I should loosen up the suspension a little bit. Uh, build vision helps. I'll soften it up and see if this makes a difference. As maybe the suspension was too tight for the hover pads to overcome because now it's actually dropping down like it should. I might have to fine tune this one a little bit. I don't think it's actually going to do much because now it's. Yeah, now it just doesn't have the. The weight. I probably should use the large suspension on this, but those things are so heavy, so I don't think it would have made a difference. So let's go ahead and just put these all on medium. And it's probably one of those situations where a terminal probably would have been a bit handier, but in a lot of cases, using a terminal to adjust things with the amount of peripherals I use, trying to find the one that you want to adjust, can be a pain in the ass sometimes. All right, so let's see what happens. Yeah, not gonna happen. But hey, I tried. That's all that matters. All right, now, now for the bad girl over here. Sorry for the cut, but I missed this part. But uh, the next one gets is dedicated to uh, KP Vogli. They they actually asked if I could uh, fly Medusa like a helicopter. I got her all set up. As you can see, I put a couple of air blades on her head just to get a little bit of extra lift because I have a feeling she's going to be heavy. Now I do have her planted. I've got, as you can see, I got a got a generator up there. I probably could have stuck batteries in there. Now that I realize it, but I got enough air blades. I should be able to lift this. And I got a cockpit in her mouth. So when we're in her mouth, I'm trying to get the best view of this. And unfortunately, and if crane balls, if you're watching, can we move the third person view out just a little more, a couple more meters, please? kind of hard to see even people with uh, submarines and planes they have trouble seeing so if we could do something like that that'd be great too uh, I tried putting it up in the top there as you can see the big hole in her forehead here and uh, I could see even less anyways enough chit chat let's free the beast should be a model on my channel free the beast okay and hopefully all these blocks should connect And yes, nothing has dropped. Now. Ooh, that's a little laggy. Not like the helicarrier, that's for sure. Okay, let's go. Mommy, take me for a ride. Let's see if we can fly this girl. Yeah, she's not lifting. She's turning. He ain't lifting though. So, that means I need to get that generator out of there and replace it with some batteries. So, give me a moment to rewire this girl. Okay, I have her switched over to batteries. So, hopefully, she's going to be a lot lighter. And I think, actually, what was the weight on those things? Oh, 40. Yeah, it's going to be a lot lighter than that generator. And away she goes. Maybe not. Yeah, we're not even getting any lift. Oh, oh, what's this? Not quite. Not quite. All right. Well, she needs some mutton chops. Okay, this should do it. Added six more. Just gave her a little bit of a collar here. Uh, Trying to make her uglier than she already is. And let's see what happens here. Please lift off. There we go. A little lopsided lift, lift off, but she is flying. If I could see where I'm actually going. <laughs> Not the easiest thing to control. Just because those pads keep spinning around in circles. Let's take her up. Let's see how high we can get her. Well, believe it or not, she's actually going up. That's quite the view. I'm inside her head. I know what she's thinking. Yeah, unfortunately, the hair is so difficult to control. And that's just because I have, st I have stabilization on, so they're spinning around. While they're doing their thing, so this is nothing more than 
a whirly copter because it doesn't go anywhere. It just spins in circles. Ah ha ha. We'll leave her floating there for a while. See how long she stays up there. But anyways, I think we're going to end the episode here. I wanted to try to get some of these things out. At least Medusa can fly. Uh, the jumper didn't really work out too well. Again, I think it might be have something to do with the suspension. I realized it did make this bigger than I anticipated. I didn't, wasn't really thinking about it. I thought this, this whole enclosement would have been over right about here. But I wasn't accounting for the suspension and all that stuff. So maybe something to look look at. In the future, maybe we'll try to do this with the, the large suspension, because I know that's a lot better, but I might, might need more hover pads for that. And, of course, the clown cannon didn't work because I didn't use the roller bearings. But with that, I think we're going to call the episode here. Um, got my display working. That was good. Unfortunately, the build vision doesn't go as far as I'd like with the, the, the switch menu, right? All you got to do is just walk up to it. Oh, hey, you don't have to have build vision for that. That is nice. So then that means if I can get up here, let's actually hover. That's nice, being able to actually control these without build vision on. That's, I like it. So zero, nine, and zero. Perfect. That's actually going to come in handy, being able to actually uh, switch things on and off on the fly. Maybe I can use that to my advantage somehow but anyways i uh, thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did leave me a like and i'll see you in the next one later